there was a very unnatural disaster in East Palestine, Ohio, which is located in or around Beaver County. And I love beavers. They're adorable. But anyway, East Palestine, Ohio has had a very unnatural disaster in the form of a bomb going off uh, in the sense there was a train that had very hazardous materials. The train derailed, an explosion was imminent, and instead of exploding on the ground, uh, the people involved let the chemicals essentially create an inferno in the whole sky. So, there were several things that happened in the wake of this. The governor, uh, a Republican, pretended to care about any of this. And during a press conference, things got a little interesting. So, I have a video here that shows a reporter who is trying to ask questions of officials in the area. And uh, this is how police treat them. This is from Now This. Let's watch. Let me... Uh... I apologize for destroying your ears. Let me. Go ahead. I am allowed to be here. Did you not see that man put his hands on the ground? You continued on. Go. Go. Now. Go. Now. Or you can go to jail. Sir, you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? To listen. Do you want to go to jail for criminal Sir, trespassing? Do you understand? You know how quickly our lawyers will get me out. I don't, we don't care. care. Sir, can we I don't talk? care. So. This guy is a reporter with News Nation, and they accused him essentially of, of, I don't, I guess they accused him of being too loud or making a scene of some kind. I mean, just doing a news report is making a scene, I guess. And notice when this guy says, do you know how fast my lawyers can get me out? The cop here says, I don't care. Because they don't actually care about the law. I need you to understand this. There is no such thing as law and order. It does not exist. There is no such thing as the U.S. Constitution. There is no such thing as the First Amendment. The only thing that does exist are police. And police can enforce any law, quote-unquote, however they want. So if it's illegal to arrest the press... So what? The cops can just do it and it doesn't matter. Are the cops going to be held accountable for breaking the law? No. So therefore, there is no law. If the First Amendment says that there is a protection for the press and you arrest the press, then I guess there is no First Amendment, right? I mean, that's my understanding. But let's... uh. Let's continue here because it gets a lot worse. Just talk outside. 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 Out the doors. Out the doors. Out the doors. Out the doors. By other media right now. I'm going to listen. I don't care. My You're going to walk out the door. I'm going to listen. You're going to walk Do out the door. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. So note, by the way, that this whole altercation started because some tough guy came over and tried to push him out. He said no. And then this is when this video starts filming. And then other people try to bully this guy out. And eventually, again, they're putting their hands on him. Now, say what you want about uh, whether or not putting your hands on someone can constitute assault or not. Uh, if you're trying to push someone out of a building for no reason, especially if they're a journalist, I would say it's assault. That's my that's my definition. If you know, if you're trying to put, if if someone out there is you know just like started beating the shit out of someone and you try to like forcefully get them off of somebody and you put their hands on them to get them off of someone uh, because they're beating the shit out of someone, that's not assault, right? But someone is standing there doing their job. They're a reporter. They're just, they don't want to be there, right? They're just doing their fucking job. And, uh, and you're trying to aggressively push them away. That's absolutely assault. But again, there is no law. There is no law. There is no constitution. There is no first amendment. It's not real. It's made up. All right. It's made up. They made it up. It's a lie. Sir, can we talk outside, please? I am trying to talk listen. Outside, please? And he escalated with me. I am doing my job. I'm discovered by the First Amendment. Excuse me, sir. I'm the building supervisor here. Please leave. There you have it. You're, you're going to stand. I love how this absolute fucking fuckface is like, well, there you have it. God has come down and, and weighed in. The building supervisor, it, does, it doesn't matter, right? 
It doesn't matter. This is a press conference, right? With the governor. It doesn't matter. The building supervisor. What? Like, and also, how do we know this is the building supervisor? <laughs> and then this guy is like immediately cucking himself like, Supreme beta male in chief. Look at this guy. Well, there you have it. Please leave. There you have it. You're, you're going to stand outside. You are. Or you're going to jail. Let's go. Let's go. So once again, this is assault. This is not legal. But again, it doesn't matter. Are these people going to be held accountable? No, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. There is no law. There is no order. The only thing that actually actually matters is enforcement that's it if there's a law on the books that doesn't get enforced it's not a law if there's not a law on the books but the enforcement happens anyway then the law that's not there is irrelevant so again now let's imagine right this is where the excessive force thing comes in all right, let's imagine this guy, he is a member of the media, but he's being a little uppity, right? Whatever you want to excuse, whatever reason you need to believe, right? He's just like, look at him. Just, I don't like the way he looks. He's causing a problem, whatever. Do you need to arrest him? Like forcefully ejecting him from the premises, right? Let's assume that he's acting a fool, whatever. Do you need to arrest him? Like, think about it, right? You kick him out of the building, and if he tries to re-enter, okay, maybe, but why would you, I mean, just watch what's about to happen. Why would you arrest him while still in the building? Like, what? <laughs> you know, it doesn't make any sense. There's no logic, but again, there is no law either, because law doesn't matter. And note, by the way, as they're tackling him to the ground, they're pulling him away from the exit. They are pulling him away from the exit. So he's being pushed. He thinks, oh, we're going to be pushed out the doors that are in front of me. They pull him away from the doors and then start tackling him to the ground. Like, what? Oh, my God. You guys, this is bad. Stop. I am on the ground. What are you talking about? Okay, yep. Stop resisting. Stop this. Stop it. Now, here's something about stop resisting. Why do police say stop resisting when someone is on camera clearly not resisting? What? Someone is literally being tackled to the ground. They're not resisting and you just say stop resisting after they're already in handcuffs. Why would you do that, right? Well, the answer is they are trained to say stop resisting all the time. Because then witnesses are going to hear, oh, well, stop resisting. And if you don't get a direct view of what's happening, most witnesses are going to hear the word stop resisting. And they'll assume that the cop is, is truthfully telling someone who is resisting arrest to stop resisting. That's not actually what happens, okay? They just say it to manipulate people for witness testimony. But also, again, if this guy, let's say it's totally reasonable and justifiable to want them to be escorted off the premises... Why would you then pull them away from the exit door and then start beating the shit out of them in the lobby? It, like, can someone explain that to me? Like, how did we get to the point where this person needs to leave the premises to let's beat the shit out of them in the corner, right? Wh when did that become the other thing? When he resisted, but he's clearly on video not resisting, right? So. Now notice that the police close the door on one of the news reporters with the camera. They close the door on the news reporter. Whoa, this guy's got a big camera. Let's get them away from this. But uh, again, fortunately, we have someone with cell phone video. Please. You guys, he's a national correspondent. You cannot do this. I'm a reporter with News Nation. It's all being recorded right now. I hope it is. Excessive it's horrible. Work because you can't talk to people about doing their job. This is what it's like to be a black reporter in 2023. And I'm so sorry. So, notice this one really here. Like, this one really gets not do this. I'm a reporter with News Nation. It's all being recorded right now. I hope it is. Except now, I don't know who said I hope it is, but it sounds like it's one of the women cops here who says, I hope it is. 
Think about that. Now, again, in a system that had laws, right? Imagine we live in the U.S., uh, United States of America. We have a constitution. First Amendment protects the press, right? Imagine we lived in that world. If you're a cop, why would you want them to be filming you violating the First Amendment? Right? Wouldn't that be... I just broke the law and they caught me on camera... Why would that be a good thing? Why would I want that to be? Oh, because they know, the cops know this. The thing is most Americans don't know this because they're dumb and they're dumb on purpose because our schools lie to us and our culture lies to us. But again, there is no law. There never has been law. I mean, think about it. Slavery was illegal, right? So whether or not there is a law, the law is certainly not a guide for morality, right? But also, there is no law. It is against the law to arrest someone who is a member of the media recording and listening and documenting a press conference with a major prof uh, high-profile politician. And they do it anyway, and they're happy that it's on camera. But why is that? Because there is no law. There is no First Amendment. It doesn't exist. So... They hope it's being recorded so that they can share it with their friends at the police station and say, yo, look how cool we are. Look, we totally got that guy. Look how funny it is watching him squirm. Oh, he thinks he, oh, he's a member of the media. He has a lawyer. Nah, he doesn't give a shit. Like they don't care, right? Because there is no law. What is the worst case scenario here? Is the cop going to be sued for violating the first amendment, right? You think that would be serious, right? The First Amendment to the United States Constitution, they directly violate. You'd think they would go to, they would have charges against them, right? They would be banned from working for the police ever again, right? The worst case scenario is they're going to get paid vacation for a couple weeks. In the real world, the worst case scenario is they get paid vacation. They get to sit at home, catch up on Netflix watch themselves on the news, right? Text all their buddies in their group chat. Oh, you got them. Oh, what shows are you watching, bro? Hey, you want to go fishing this weekend? That's the worst case scenario. They get paid vacation. Right? So, and again, this, and that, like, this guy here, this, uh, this guy who's, again, look, look at this. I just want to replay this moment. Look, like, they're bringing him to the exit, and then they steer him away and start, like, to tackle him. Like, that's crazy! That's crazy! I mean, like, why? I, again, that's crazy oh, shit. Please. But this guy right here, right, he's, he's literally just doing his job. He doesn't want to be there no more than the cops want to be there. They're only there because that's their job. Their job put them there, right? But, like, none of this matters. None, like, this guy is... is his lawyers might get him out, but that doesn't change the fact that he wasn't able to do his job. Because it doesn't matter if the lawyers are going to get him out. It doesn't matter if it's legal or illegal. They can still arrest you and figure it out later. That's the only thing that matters. Arrest you first, figure it out later. That's it. And, uh, you know. A little silly. Uh, our country. And the governor... Governor DeWine or whatever has said, oh, I condemn this. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. If he condemned it, he would do something about making sure these people are banned from being police officers. Maybe even bring some state level charges against them. But it doesn't matter. Oh, I condemn it, good sir. Well, wow, thanks. I mean, you're the, you're the governor of the state. You could do something about it. Well, yeah, but I condemn it. Isn't that enough? Well, you know. These people are, I mean, I don't even like using the word people when I refer to police because in my opinion, they're not people. If you become a police officer, you forfeit your right to be a human. At best, you're some homo erectus motherfucker who doesn't have a, a developed brain. And you're just like, I don't even know what you're doing. You're, you're just, you're not, you can't think. There's no inner monologue. There's no logical processing. You're just reacting to shapes and colors and sounds, right? They're barely even human beings. These are criminals, and yet our government hires criminals to engage in crime on the rest of us for no reason. Cops are garbage. They will never do anything to help you. They never will help you. They never will help anybody because that's not what they're there for. And Americans aren't going to do shit about it because they don't care.
You think Americans give a fuck about this? Americans don't care. The lazy, stupid fuckers. They don't give a shit about this. Because Americans, the only thing they give a shit about is when can they get their next treat? When does the next episode of some stupid lowbrow fucking dumbass show come out? When's their next fucking movie come out? When's their next dumbass wizard game coming out? Now, I'm not, the, I'm not here to tell you that appreciating art is a bad thing. Of course not. But that's all they care about. When does McDonald's open? When is the breakfast menu available at Wendy's? That's all they care about. Most Americans, 90 plus percent of Americans, that's all they care about. When can I get my next six piece McNugget meal? That's all they give a shit about. They don't care about you. They don't even care about themselves. They don't care about their family. They're Americans. They have been taught to not care. Our schools indoctrinate people into thinking police are moral heroes. Don't ever question them. That's what we're indoctrinated into believing as children. Is it a surprise that most Americans actually think it's true? And anyway, there's my segment on the police.